another issue that's been featuring very, very highly here in Davos is the environment. And I'd say it's been being pushed up the agenda every year. And as you're saying, I'm here with Ellen MacArthur. And Ellen MacArthur is uh, releasing a report today that just shows how the and artificial intelligence uh, can help the transition into the circular economy. Now, uh, Ellen, can you tell us a little bit about that report? It's been fascinating learning, really, because the, the foundation I have, the sole focus is to accelerate the transition to a circular economy, which is a model which is regenerative. You know, if you take today's economy, we dispose a lot of stuff, we throw it away, we create a lot of waste, and that's very wasteful economically, but also from a materials perspective. A circular economy regenerates those materials. So what we've discovered through this report we've worked on with Google and McKinsey is that if we use, if we harness artificial intelligence and the digital revolution, we can actually use AI to help to transform the economic system from that linear system to one which is circular through things like design of products, materials, components, through the operational system so we can um, we can uh, really help to get the best performance out of reverse logistics and materials flows and then also infrastructure itself, you know, using AI for sorting and collecting materials. So it really is an enabler of a circular economy. So can you just give me a concrete example, very briefly now, because I know it is quite complex, of say of a household object and how that can become circular? I guess you could take a washing machine. I mean, most people in the developed world have one. Today, we buy one. Um, we pay tax when we buy it. We own all the materials within it when it's in our home, and when we break, it's a problem, and we have to deal with throwing it away. If you, that would be a very linear pro uh, product itself. The, the, the company makes money when they sell that product. They have to sell more and more to keep in business. If you switch that washing machine to a circular product, it would be a product which we would have in our homes, but we probably wouldn't own it at all. We would pay per wash. That would work out significantly cheaper for us because we don't have to buy all the materials in it. And the company would service it. They would maintain it. They would upgrade it. And if the, the product broke or had a problem they would come and fix it so economically it works for us we pay less and it also works for the manufacturer because they're not in this linear let's make 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 more machines to make money it's actually becomes a much better service model and Ellen, now you were known for being the yachtswoman who sell, so sailed around the world single-handedly breaking world records. And it was at that point that you had an amazing realisation that brought you, to, to made you the person you are now, really. Uh, can you tell me a bit about that? Well, my background was racing and my focus was racing. Everything was about trying to get across that finish line as fast as possible. But when you do that and you take yourself to the middle of the ocean, you know, two and a half thousand miles away from land, you really realise the value of resources. You know that what you have on that boat is all you have. You know, there's no shop to buy anything else and it really struck me that our global economy is the same you know we have finite resources available to us and yet in a world with a growing world population we're using these resources faster and faster and if you have finite resources and you're using them up you know that cannot work in the long term for the economy for employment for growth for anything and that's where I started to look at different models where you switch from that linear model to one which is circular and have discovered you know trillions and trillions of US dollars worth of economic opportunity through switching to that model. So, uh, as we were saying at the beginning of this interview, it's a big day for Europe and also lots of world leaders here. And I think we can say really quite, quite rightly that this issue of the circular economy of the environment is being pushed up the agenda. Business leaders are listening way more because they're realising that sustainability and profitability can go hand in hand.